Hello, and welcome to my first YouTube video. If you like to learn how to make a baby Yoda or Grogu, please stay tuned. All right, so first we start with some aluminum foil. And we use that to actually make the bulk of the baby Yoda. So you can see I have some printouts of the rough size I'd like to make, and now I'm just kind of mashing the aluminum foil to approximately the right size for the head and the body of the baby Yoda. Alright, so now I take actually some super sculpy clay and I put an imposter roller on three and I cover the aluminum foil balls so that they're completely together. Then after I covered both the head and the body balls, I take toothpick and sculpy bake and bond. And what I do is I actually take the toothpick and I'll actually poke it into the head. And since I don't only have one end that's pointy, I rotate that. Then I put some bacon bond onto the body. And then I actually just press the head onto the body. And that should actually be pretty secure. So for the first bake, I actually poke some holes in the back so that I can relieve some pressure while it bakes. All right, so after it bakes, we actually take some green clay. So I make mine out of like wasabi color, sculpy clay and white and trans transparent. And we just put that all over the head portion of the Baby Yoda doll. I actually also take some glass cabochons and I painted the back side of them with some black acrylic paint. Um, but you can actually use black sculpey clay if you plan to use it in an oven that you bake food in. And you just place it on top. And then we roll out a snake of green clay so that we can place the cheekbones and the front of the mouth area and just blend it in. Here I take some snakes of clay so I can make the upper and lower eyelids. I loosely place them where I want them and then I just like blend them in with my fingers until I kind of get the desired effect. take some more clay and start filling in the you know the forehead area and the nose a little bit so what I learned with making baby Yoda is he's a baby first old dude second so to make that more like baby youthful look you kind of need to make sure you fill in the areas a little bit so that you have like a nice base to work with and then afterwards we'll add some like soft wrinkles on top if we focus too much on the wrinkles at first, it'll just kind of look like a very old and maybe like weathered baby Yoda, which doesn't really feel very babyish. So that's kind of what you see me doing here, it's just making sure it's feeling kind of, I focus on making sure it feels kind of plump and I'm getting the right basic structure first before uh, needing to add any details.
some snake of clay to kind of start making that brow bone and some of the wrinkles that you'll see on, in the baby Yoda's forehead. So what I do is just like, right, put some snake of clays there, start using my silicone tool to blend those snakes in so that, you know, we don't really worry about attachment issues or like weird gaps between the new clay and the old clay. And then just use your fingers to start smoothing out the wrinkles because we do want soft old man wrinkles, I suppose. So here we take some snakes of clay to make the wrinkles on top of baby Yoda's head. So I put two here, put a little extra um, to make, it, make the wrinkles in the front of his forehead stand out a little bit. And like we did with the others, we blend in with the silicone tool. And then we um, soften it out with using our fingers. Alright, so now you have a little ball that you put in as a nose and you just blend that in until you get that really cute Yoda nose. Alright, so now I want to work on the top lip. So use your thumb and you kind of just press how you want the mouth to look and you just press up a little bit to make it more smiley. And then you take a stick of clay to make the lower lip and then you just blend that in. If you want to define the mouth a little bit more, feel free to take like a sharp little knife to kind of cut out the mouth a little bit more or like the silicone shaper you can also use that to kind of press inside the mouth a little bit to open it up. All right, so then you start taking some light brown Sculpey clay. I use Ecru and some brown mixed together on a pasta roller on three. And I use that to start covering the body of the Baby Yoda to make the foundation of Baby Yoda's jacket. And of course, you can just paint on top. You, with acrylic paint, you don't have to use colored clay. But I think for simplicity purpose, I just add some colored clay and I try to use that. So then um, you also, to make the arms, roll out some clay it in half and half again just kind of make some arm shaped things um, i also have some yellow clay to make the yoke that the baby yoda is going to be holding and i cut a piece of clay to make the front of the jacket as well and start using the pointy end um, of my silicone shaper to make some details um, for the jacket but you can also use a toothpick for here as well. So then um, I take some more clay um, and I kind of just like roll it over on itself so I can start making the collar of the jacket. So I cut off one end, blend it a little bit, and start, you know, seeing how I want it to lay on top of the baby Yoda. Once I have the right length, I cut it off and then I just place it on. <laughs> Next is his little fingers. Um, so I take a small snake of clay, um, finger size. I cut six um, segments from it so that they're all the same size and I just kind of roll them into small cylinders and just place the fingers as so. 
I also took some more of the brown clay so I can start making the end of his jacket and I place them like this, kind of form it first and then use a small knife to then cut it so that I know it like fits perfectly at the end of his jacket and blend it in a little bit. And I just you know, place his yellow yolk in his hand. Then I take a toothbrush to texturize um, the collar and some of the other aspects of his jacket. So next I actually cut out the ear of the printout. I have a baby Yoda so I have a stencil um, to cut both the right and the left ear. And so I'm do so what you saw me do is cut it out and start blending the edges so it's a little bit more smooth and then just flattening the top side of the ear so that we can roll it later as you can see here. And then to kind of get that shape that Baby Yoda has. And at the very end where it's going to connect to the head, I kind of flatten it out with my fingers so that it'll have a smoother transition um, from ear to head. Do that for both ears and then we just blend that in. Um, I also cut any extra pieces off um, until it's pretty smooth. All right, now let's put baby on the tray. Nice. So before we bake, I actually put on a little bit of chalk pastel. I have some pink that I kind of shaved down. Then using a small fluffy brush, I put it on the cheeks and the nose a little bit and on the ear. You don't have to do this. You can also use a wash down acrylic paint, which you'll see me do later to emphasize, but I think it's a nice touch to give that nice airbrush look. You can also use an airbrush, but that's kind of harder to do. And so I just use the chalk pastels instead. So here I have a solution of bacon bond and clay softener that I put on everything and then I bake. Then afterwards, I use a solution of uh, some brown acrylic paint and water, like around half-half, where I'll just paint on top of uh, Baby Yoda's coat and then use a piece of paper or paper towel um, to kind of rub it off. And I do the same with pink and some water for his ears and cheeks. And just to kind of bring out the pink a little bit more. Alright, so now you have your own Baby Yoda, or Grogu, that you can have on your desk, give it to your friends and family, and I hope you learned something about how to make your own very Baby Yoda. Alright, thank you!